I think then that third quarter we gave up too many points. Uh, you know, sometimes we didn't get back, had some turnovers, uh, spacing, um, you know, defensive coverages that we kind of, you know, got mixed up on that, you know, we went over today and uh, shoot around. So uh, a lot of things that we can control to be better at. And he's talked a lot about you guys adjusting on the fly you guys being open to adjustments, especially against this team that's switching it up so much. How much did you guys out there feel the need to adjust to some of the things they were doing? And do you think you did so effectively? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, we, we just gave up 46 points in the third. So, you know, that's defense and transition and offensive rebounds um, and, you know, not closing out the shooters. So, uh, you know, there's some things that we really got to focus on and, you um, go over tomorrow and, you know, at practice. Jason, you guys have had a kind of history of, Joe talked about letting go of the rope in the third quarter. Why is it that that's something that has continued to happen throughout the course of the season and, and in the playoffs? Um, I don't know why, but I just know today, uh, like I said, you know, we gave up some transition baskets. Um, they got in a the rhythm. They were comfortable. Uh, you know, we didn't close out the shooters. We gave up some offensive rebounds. Uh, so in recent games, you know, I'd have to go back and watch them. But tonight, that's uh, kind of what happened. And this year, even go back to last year, home court advantage hasn't been much of an advantage. You guys have, have about a 500 record at home. In the playoffs, why why is that not helping? You know, having having home court advantage. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I I shit. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, you know, you still gotta play the game. You still gotta make plays, regardless of you know you're home or on the way. You know, the court is the same. It's one ball, three reps, two baskets. Um, you know, so, you know, I don't have an exact answer why we 500 at home. You know, we just got to be better. Jason, um, you guys struggled a bit offensively down the stretch, um, execution wise. What, what were they doing to kind of take you guys out of the rhythm there, do you feel like? And um, you personally, you weren't able to take a shot in the fourth quarter. Were they doing anything special to you there to kind of deny you? Uh, we got to play with more pace. You know, I'm thinking the third quarter, we kind of played too slow, mainly because we weren't getting stops. You know, in the fourth quarter, we made a couple runs, got to push the ball. Uh, you know, and that's – those go hand-in-hand -hand with getting stops and getting out in transition. Um, so it starts on the defensive end. Uh, just play with, you know, some more pace, play a little bit faster. Last question to Jerry. Jason, uh, Joe called that timeout with like three and a half minutes left in the game. Said he wanted to figure out your guys' spacing. Then you come out and you threw the ball away, and Jimmy turned it over, and then or Jimmy stole it. And then you had a couple up and down travels. What was Miami able to do to like get in the way of your guys' spacing, and why do you think you had those travels? Uh, yeah, I turned the ball over, uh, threw it to Jimmy. Uh, you know that was on me, and uh, you know on the shot fake. Uh, you know, I just got sped up a little bit. So, uh, you know, I just got to slow down a little bit uh, in those moments. Philly, they also were able to kind of make you guys uncomfortable with their speed in game one. Miami kind of did the same thing tonight. So how were you guys able to adjust to find your pace against Philly? And how do you think you can do that against Miami? Uh, you know, we're going to have practice tomorrow. Uh, watch film. We're going to talk about it discuss the things that we did well, the things that we can do better, and uh, come out and um, execute better on uh, Friday. Thank you.